Hi, welcome to another edition of uh, G Sport here on Joy Prime. My name is Miss G, and as always, I bring you your favorite celebs to discuss social issue. Welcome to my sports. Now, today we are going to be talking another interesting topic and uh, definitely a lot of married folks and even the single ones will be excited to hear what we're going to be talking about who owns the body so you know people say once you get married your husband owns your body he tells you when you know and what to wear how you need to look he reminds you of how you look slender when he met you blah 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 but do you own his body as well if you're a wife do you get to tell him what you want to see him to what you want to see him wear how you want to see him have six packs not a pot belly sorry my husband has one anyway and all that you know what happens who owns the body that's the topic for discussion and today i have with me the very very veteran veteran but refuses he's part of the r2g family you know they refuse to grow and uh, ben bracco and uh, <laughs> he's still looking amazing and then also i have the director for the golden movie awards mimi and danny her accolades are long so let's just leave it at that one because some people say ah bba mimi musician mimi fashion designer mimi all of them now She's the director for the Golden Movie Awards, and it was a fantastic award that happened at the Mervyn Peak Hotel on June 2. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so, um, like I said, you're part of the RTG family. Really? I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good for him, man. Maybe you're welcome. Thank you and for having me. I know you're very, very tired. You mm -hmm. know, a lot has happened, you know. And you're tired but let's start with you straight ahead you because you're married both of you are married so who who owns your body <laughs> it's a very very complicated question <laughs> but this is how i take it from what i know is that when you're single you own your body and you can do whatever you want but what i know is that biblically as my belief when you get married you become one so you own each other's body. So you need to compromise to make a decision on both bodies. Oh, I see. Yes. Hey, that's just put it nicely, though. But we'll go in to know really whether truly, truly you compromise or you want to be yourself. But Ben, do you, do, you, do you believe in that as well? Do you think that your partner owns your body as much as you own her body? I don't think it's, it's about the body. I think it's about the being, about the person. Two becomes one. It's not a union of bodies. It's a union of beings, you know, the, the total being, including the body, the spirits, and all that, mm -hmm. you know. But I think the being is, is the thing because the body cannot be owned. Okay, but is it one of the things that comes across or comes up during discussion, even prior marriage, that, you know, you begin to let the person, conscientize the person that, you know, that body of yours is mine, you belong to me, your soul, whatever, like you say. I, I think that's too egotistical, you know. It's not about owning it. It's about um, enhancing it it's through discussion. You understand? You know, I, for instance, have changed my wife's, outlook totally. She's very, very African now. But it's through discussion and consent rather than claiming that, hey, this body is mine. <laughs> Turn the <lighters>. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> you understand? It has to be because we, we are all full human beings. <laughs> and God will not forgive us if we just give our body away. But, uh, okay, maybe wants to say something. No, 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 I'm listening to him. For me, I, I just think that... Um, it, whether body, soul, mind, uh, per the discussion now is body, mm -hmm. and it's part of the whole package mm -hmm. that Uncle Ben has just, has, has just said, which means that for me, I still st um, stick to my point that the body belongs to both of us. If it, I agree with him of not taking full control and having to have a particular discussion about whatever to make a particular decision, yes. But it boils down to the fact that still you're being comp you're compromising on each other. You're still discussing. So it still means that you both own your body. For example, he said he's totally changed the look of his wife. Mm -hmm. But he did it in a certain way by not ordering, probably, maybe for lack of words, ordering her around. He found a way and then it happened. It's still the same. It means that you still own her body. Now, let's take the conversation a notch higher. Now, we're talking about body and how entitled the man is to the body. We would want to take the conversation into the next level. These are married folks, so they are eligible to talk about what we want to talk about. So, Mimi, do you have a routine uh -huh. for the bedroom? No, 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 not at all. Anything goes. 
I'm ever ready. <laughs> I was born ready. So, so there are not times when, you know, your husband touches you and says, mm, Oh, when they meet me, I also forget it. Hey, <laughs> it must happen. If it must happen, and I can, I have the strength to. You know, sometimes women, as a biochemist, I will tell you about a body. Sometimes our bodies are not ready, not us. Mm. It's, you really want it, but the body is not ready. You are all dried up. It's not coming. Like, you're not ready. It's the is system. It psychological? It's when... psychological. But if you can want it, but then if the body is not ready, it's difficult for it to happen. So sometimes the body is not ready, but maybe your husband wants it. But me, I'm, I'm able to explain scientifically to my husband. Hi. For him to understand. That's too much stress, <laughs> Uncle Ben. <laughs> no, I'm able to. I've, I've done that. That person is ready to fire. You're yeah, not. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not science. one. It wasn't one day. Mm -hmm. We've been together for seven years. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've explained to him scientifically that I can be ready. I want to. But the body is not responding. How do. When you do that, I'll get cuts. You, oh, but there are lots of gels, though. Too. I, don't, I don't like yeah. using them. Okay, that's just me, artificial one. But my husband understands, he's come to understand that sometimes the body is not ready. But if the body is ready and I am not even ready, I'd compromise. Uncle? Yeah, I think that um, even if the body is not ready, there are ways of making the body ready. You know? <laughs> okay, and, and that is you're not teaching us, so you only tell us uh, about it. But you don't teach us. No, well, well, well tips. this one I can tell you because uh -huh. everybody knows. Okay. You know, how to get gels. the body. Uh, not no, gels. So no, no, it's not gels. gels. But it's to it's to let work. her teach us. She's the one cutting you. No, no, it's not gel. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's not talking about gel. No, it's not gel. She just came. No gel. No gel. You've been practicing well. No, okay. you, you 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 romance the body hey. to a certain extent. It will start flowing. It is a natural phenomenon. In this dispensation, where they tell us no sex before marriage, and that's the orientation a lot of people give. <laughs> it's this is for children. <laughs> Well, children, people who want to get married, who are in relationships, are also listening to you, watching you, and they're learning from the things that you're saying. And so he's... I think pragmatically, you've got to learn how to be married before you get married. You can go into marriage totally naive, and you look like an idiot. So if you say get married before you get married, you know... No, I'm saying that, look, sow your wild seeds. Learn how to deal with a woman. You understand? and learn how, what women want from you, you know? You can go through life and, you know, maybe you're frustrating your wife throughout mm. and you don't even know. That could be true. Yes, it, it's true, it happens a lot of times. So in, in this case, what will happen? You have to, when you're courting or dating, you need to be, you know, trying to find out if you can, you know, please the woman in bed and, and all that. Is that what- You have that to learn, you know that you are trying to find out if you can please. <laughs> you have to learn. How do you learn? Is it you practical learning? Practice. Of course, you have to be. So, are you aware. relating to religion? Because I'm going. I was going to say that you know some people's religion doesn't Look, do not permit. A lot that. of people's religions say a lot of stuff. <laughs> it has nothing to do with your relationship with your God. Okay, leave all that fluff aside. Okay, you are a real person. God didn't create that beautiful thing, and all these feelings. So that you keep it in a bottle. Oh, <laughs> you maybe, maybe say, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, let's be real. You know, let's try, to, let's try not to be controlling and telling everybody what to do, how to live their life, how to sleep, uh, switch off the light, you know, they don't show yourself. And all, all when when, when the action is about to take place. You know, yeah. religiously, mm -hmm. it's very, very complicated, mm -hmm. though, because... They'd say that don't have sex before marriage. Yeah. Huh. Nobody says that. No, no, the Bible <laughs> it's, it's says biblical. so. The Bible yeah. never said so. There's a part of the Bible that talks about fornication and that it is uh, a biggest is the biggest sin of all sins. At least that's Do what I was Do you know what thought. fornication is? Uh, when you get have sex whilst you're not married. No. That's not fornication. That's not fornication. <laughs> What's fornication? Fornication is having sex for its own sake. You know, just, you know, wanting to have sex, having <coughs> sex, having sex, having sex. That's fornication. Uh -huh. Ooh, baby, yeah. you want to have sex. You wanna have so sex. when you're having sex with one woman, it's not fornication. It's not. It's what? A learning process. It is a loving thing. <laughs> it is, and you know that yourself. I, I don't know. You're telling me. What do you me. mean you don't know? I don't know. I see. Fornication is just sex. 
from my definition, and the Bible sex says, sex before marriage. Yes, yeah. and the Bible says, don't it doesn't fornicate. say before sex before marriage. It doesn't uh, say that's sex. not fornicate. For the marriage, we said it's the Bible says it's called adultery, so it means that fornication is not for, well, <laughs> but for, for the what the Bible says is that do not fornicate, mm -hmm. which means. Um, okay, so let's take fornication as a definition. It says don't. Uh, it's just a consensual agreement between people, two people to have sex. So the Bible is saying don't do that before you marry. Hmm. Really? Is it yes. Don't, don't fornicate before yes. you get married. Yes. Where is the Bible? No, not before. It it hit <laughs> ah. That's why don't fornicate. At least we know that when you're married, you commit adultery. Hmm. It means that when and you're I'm telling you that that's fornication uh -huh. is not just having sex, having a loving sexual relationship with somebody it's, it's not, not fornication, fornication. No. what do you what do you call that fornication is when uh it's more like titillation you know you 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 go for a prostitute <coughs> or you know a go-go girl or whatever so when your girlfriend is not fornication no if you have a loving relationship it's not fornication. and when you leave her for another person and you 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 sleep with the person you're still not fornicating if it's a loving relationship, my even dear. if it's ten different it, even, girls, even if it's because you can marry ten different women. On that note, we we'll take a break. The single folks will join us, and then we'll just wrap up the conversation on who owns the body. These are married folks telling us who owns the body, their body, and maybe perhaps other, other the bodies of others. And so we'll have the single folks joining us on the G spots. Who owns the body? We'll be back after the break. If I'm doing what they do, mm -hmm. or if I'm practicing what they do, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you own my body, no. So, and we're just having fun. God knows if we go so talk. Wait, That's why wait, he didn't wait. add it to the Ten Commandments. Because if he, God, if he added fornication to the Ten Commandments, about seven people will go to heaven. Welcome back to the G Sport here on Joy Prime with me, Miss G. And as usual, it's my sport and it's a pleasure to share this sport with you. So, we're talking about who owns the body. You've heard Uncle Ben and Mimi and Danny Michaels speak about who owns their bodies. Well, the single folks are also here to talk about who owns their body. Do they even have a, anybody's body to own? Are they, you know, do they, don't have, do they have the right to own anybody's body? You know, like they're going to tell us. But Uncle Ben has said a lot of things that gives them rights. You know, maybe they would jump on that one quickly and say they own rights to people's bodies. But joining me on set now is uh, comedian DKB, comedian extraordinaire, the man who comes after those with a big head. Uh, I don't know whether he's before or whatever, but he's been saying it himself. People call him each way in response. I'm like, hey, really? <laughs> anyway, so he's the headies of all comedians, you know, and uh, he joins me on set together with AJ Pounds. AJ Pounds is an actress, and uh, she represented the Eastern region in the Ghana's Most Beautiful competition in 2011. Long ago, but she's here yeah, looking fresh. And uh, DKB says, Watch your papa. You guys are welcome to the G Sport. Thank you. DKB is thinking of what to say. No, 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 no. Controversial. He's telling me, Watch your papa. Hmm. Uh, 2011. 2011, I was still unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> anyway, welcome. And you know, I'm Thank sure you. you guys have been, you know, listening the conversation. Yeah, yeah. We've been watching mm -hmm. on our monitors what uh, uh, Uncle Ben and Mimi have been saying concerning who owns the body. I'll start with you. Do you think that anybody owns your beautiful body? No. Why not? <laughs> if you're not my husband, you don't own my body. But you're not married yet, but you're doing what they, they do. What is that? If. If I'm doing what they do, mm -hmm. or if I'm practicing what they do, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you own my body, no. So... And we're just having fun. You're just having fun? Yeah, yeah kind So of. you don't ever tell your boyfriend or your partner that actually, we're for a peer to do, or, you know, you need to wear this costume or wear this attire when you're going out with me, blah, blah, blah. I don't like you in this t-shirt, blah, blah, but blah. Sometimes you do. He will tell you, oh, baby, I don't want you to look this way. Let's, let's dress this way, fine. But you can't tell me... At all costs, you should look this way for me. No. So even he can suggest, but it shouldn't be a must. So when he suggests and you obey, and I feel okay, what he's saying is true. Let me just you know change that. Fine, but if I feel I'm comfortable in that, why not? DKB, do you tell your girlfriend how you want her body to look like and what you want her to look like? It is one of the reasons why I went for her. Hmm. <laughs> so she has a job. Please, no one yeah, is it's not my it's her job. Because mm -hmm. she there are so many other body types. 
some looking like pineapple, some looking like watermelon, you know, some like, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then some look like pen drive, <laughs> like small here and everything is packed here. Mm -hmm. They look like they're receiving cane. <laughs> you know, when you class somebody the way they are. Uh -huh. So I saw all those body types and I came for you. So you have, why are you, you have something against those kind of girls, right? Like they're all packed here, like everything, they move everything, they relocate everything <laughs> here. And then, so if I see all those bodies and I came for yours, there's a reason why you should keep yours intact for me. But when you say owning the body, do you mean sexually or you all mean physical? All of it, all of it. So physical, because you saw the, before you even entered, which I don't know whether you're eligible to, you know, you saw, you saw a body. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And the body, like you said, is what you fell in love with. Yes, yes. So maintaining that body is, is I'm sure by now, like from what you have heard you say, it's of concern to you. It's, it's her priority first. Because if you, you know, the thing is, <laughs> you feel guilty when you lose your own body. Because in the end, you... Some people you, don't really care. Yeah. yeah. And then that's why their husbands go for the Moishas and co. You see, people think that when it's men do truth. this, when yeah. men do this, they put a lot of pressure on women. No. See, marriage is not a full stop. Marriage is the beginning of looking sexy. A lot of Ghanaian women, once they marry, then they sit down like Auntie Koshi. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, man, that man, I marry me. Mm. That I agree with him. You wouldn't, you know, then yes. you start rocking cloth. The, what the cloth, it presses the, the boobs down. So their boobs will look like they are yeah. taking scuba diving. You understand? And the annoying part is, she will tell you because I am married, he will come home, he will come back to me, and all that. No. And she will just stop looking sexy you after marriage. But you people are saying this because you are not married yet. What you don't even know what the situation it's a, is. No, that's the advice married. I give no, no, to my no, no, married no, no. friends. I remember a couple of my married friends. I went for their wedding. I told them, my guy, they are married till they talk giddy giddy. Nothing day inside. Why well, you married before? Oh, no, I didn't see him. It be normal. <laughs> They see her from outside. You don't, marriage, you don't know what goes marriage in there. Marriage is just a relationship with a bunch of people who came to eat your love, period. <laughs> That's just what it is. What changes? Do you have your grandfather sleeping in the bed with your wife? No. It's the same person you were in doing lobby lobby with. What changes? Or the plans to build a house, properties, or how you are pushing money. If that one is your basic common sense. I tell my friends who are married that, listen, the marriage is the beginning of sex, my guy. Don't let your stomach come out. And you see how your wife will have headache over you. Because as a man, if you keep your stomach flat, I'm still working on mine, but I'm better than Sammy Fossey. <laughs> so if Sammy Fossey has been working since, mm -hmm. he but was so worse. That, but still, the stomach is not gone, eh? Stomach is not the easiest. If you're watching me, you're a guy, don't ever grow stomach. Because stomach is like an ever ex girlfriend. If she doesn't get you physically, spiritually, they will lie. You know? Okay. <laughs> I did ever I tell a lot. my friends a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I tell I, them, look, don't stop looking I'm sexy you. after marriage. Okay, after born one, two, it should look sexy. But you have a child. I have a child. And you're looking this way, so yes. you, you do. Like you've worked. Yeah, she has a child. Yes, I have a child. Mm. She'll wow. be five in October. Mm. Hey, you Just. Too, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I hasn't told me. Ghana is beautiful in them. You know, we should train, <laughs> look sexy, look good. Dressed to kill him, and look, he he can't sleep, knowing that you're out there and looking you see, sexy. You see, and again, you're saying this because you are not married. When you get married, there are lots of things you are thinking about too. Like what? Like yeah. what? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Yeah, like you, what? you forget, you, you forget yourself and think about like, other like, things. Like what? That's yeah, why I tell people make money before you marry. Hmm. If you make money, it takes off their thinking. But whatever, if at 45 the guy hasn't made money, he shouldn't get married. No, don't get For married. For the guy, why fine. Why would you get married you to the... stress somebody's life? Do you know how? Do you know a lot of the divorces? My money contributes like 85 or 90 percent, yeah. and small, small petty issues. issues. You, you think they're rich men, they don't cheat, their wives don't know they are cheating. They know. Even when their girlfriends are coming to look for them, their wives tell them, it's our girl, no, they were born, they were No, no, it's our girl, they were fro. She's our fro, they were fro. Sounds like stroke, yeah. because there's money there. Whatever that you happens. Understand? It's Imagine fine. you see some younger girl calling your husband, but there's a Toyota Sequoia waiting for you to go to town. Oh, who's stress you don't so stress. You know, you don't stress. So that I did get make money. That's why I'm not married. Make money. If you make money, money will cushion. Ah, everything is mobile money now. Um, Baby, I want to buy papa papa. Let's take. I think the young money. ones are still having fun. Though. All the things we're talking about, you know, it sounds like you know you're yes, having you should fun. have fun before um, marriage. Because you know, somebody owns your body. You're saying that you decide whether you want to agree or not that they own your mm -hmm. body. But when they get married. 
when you get married, when you get married, you face reality. What's mm. the reality? Me, me, I'm not scared of marriage. The reality is, you, so when you get married, uh -huh. would you be able to accommodate uh -huh. your wife telling you that DKB, I need you to look a different way or oh, the same know. way I, I, I met you? Because now I'm married to, I'm committed to her, so I must. So you would? Yes, I will. Of course, you should. Mm. Because that's what she's saying, that's what she wants. That's now, what will turn her head. Mm -hmm. Now that you're not married, before the married folks join us back so that we can have a total discussion, now that you're not married, do you call the shots on when? Or I, 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 are you are you celibate or you you're doing the do? Celibate, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Celibate. Are, are you are you doing the do? Yeah, look at my face. Oh, you 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 you're sleeping with your girlfriend. You're sleeping with your girlfriend. Sleeping with you. Oh, you're making love. <laughs> no, I don't sleep. What I, do you do? How can you do the thing and sleep? So what do you do? One bunny or get sleep. <laughs> Oh, Kucho, sleep. Do you, do you, do you I'm not those people who sleep with women. You, if you are lazy, if you are a man, you, you sleep with a woman, you are lazy. You are lazy, what do you do? Sleep with her. Ah, what's wrong with you? You are sleeping with her. And so, you are laying together. That's no, one bunny. So, but do, do you think that you have, you have the right to, as in you're a Christian, I, I know. Yes. And the Bible doesn't say that it permits you to. God knows it will go talk. So wait, That's why wait, he didn't wait. add it to the Ten Commandments. Because if he, God, if he added fornication to the commandment, about seven people will go to heaven. About so like, that's wait, like four Jehovah Witnesses and three Latter Day Saints and one Pentecostal. You didn't say that. He, <laughs> that's why he didn't add it to the. You didn't say that. I didn't. I said. So what, I, if, I said, what if you don't do this? You don't. You guys don't have sex. You mm. know, during courtship, and you get married and realize this guy can't do anything. But the Bible says. The Bible says, 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 the Bible created an ideal situation for us. Mm -hmm. An ideal situation. You, the woman, you have no idea. You, the man, you have no idea. When you get involved, however it is, you will be happy with it. But the world has created a realistic situation. So there's ideal and there's real. real. So the real situation is the woman has tested, the man has tested. When they meet, they will compromise in the end. Mm -hmm. And even the Bible doesn't really care about the virginity of a man. There was no point in the Bible where the virginity of Adam was mentioned, hey, Joseph was mentioned in relation to Mary. It was Mary's virginity that was emphasized. Which means this thing here, we, we, we have as yet. <laughs> On that note, yeah, we welcome the married folks. No and we we'll have to have a <laughs> very you. broad discussion on this issue. There are things that, it looks like the men are saying things, but it looks like they, are having, they have the leeway and you know, they, are, they think that they are liberty to do a lot of things that we women are not entitled to. So Mimi and Uncle Ben will join us again and I guess that the girl power will come to play, maybe. And so many men even give their women to other men and you, to, you, to satisfy them because they know no, they can't. in Ghana. So if you're saying that people have, having consensual love thing is not fornication, they are telling me Nyantechi collecting the money out of love is not So, so DKB, per your analogy, you admit that you fornicate. Yes, senior fornicator, me are there. Like Welcome back to the G Sports, and this is my sport. It's a pleasure to share with you. We've been talking about who owns the body with both the single and married. Now we have all of them joining us on set, and we're going to have a joint conversation on um, who owns the body. Too many interesting, you know, talks already going on, and I can't wait to hear, you know, what they say in this final segment. And so, in no particular order, let me introduce you, my guest. If you just joined in, this is uh, Uncle Ben Braco, a veteran musician. I I love his song. Uh, there's oh, I want to sing. My voice is not permitting me to sing the song. You know. Yeah, well, cool, cool, yeah, well. Uh huh. You see, she also doesn't have a good voice, you know. There's a dance that goes with that song, and um, I'm sure you you love him so so much. He is, like I said initially, part of the RCG family. He refuses to grow. I'll ask him his age very soon. And then we have Ghana's most beautiful contestant, 2011 actress, um, AJ Pounds. She wants to be known by AJ Pounds, but if you remember her, you know her name. And then we have uh, the head of all comedians, uh, the man with the big head. DKB, he's showing us his head properly. 
end. <laughs> we have Mimi and Danny Michael. She's director of Golden Movie Awards. She also has plenty accolades from Big Brother to music to fashion. Now she's with the movie industry. And she says, she, look, she will do music awards. Ghanaians will understand that. She says she will do music awards. My name is Miss G. Thanks for joining us for this conversation. You're all welcome once more. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so I'm um, the the ladies. I see that the men have had you know their way. They've talked about you know Uncle Ben before he left said talked about how he thinks that fornication is not about you know uh, you sleeping with a man or a man and woman sleeping. It's, okay, AJ already is raising eyebrows and and uh, also DKB also came to say that you know he 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 doesn't see anything wrong with that. So it means that they're on the same uh, level or the same, they have the same stance. But Mimi, I'm sure AJ, and Mimi also said that she doesn't agree to that before she left. AJ, I haven't heard you speak on fornication. You, you, think, you think that when you, you lay with a man without uh, being married to him. It's fornication. Okay. It's fornication? Yeah. It's not. It it's not necessarily it is, fornication. It is. For, it is fornication, fornication is a dirty word. It is having sex for its own sake. No. For its own sake. To have a loving sexual no, relationship no, no. is not fornication. The one, that, the one having sex is that Tupajinji. <laughs> but what's that Tupajinji? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's why it's But fornication is... No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... Fornication is you laying with someone. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who, like, they're... Addicted to sex. No. They, they just want sex. No. Those are the ones who no. fornicate. No. Yeah, that's fornication. No, once you're not you married, the, the, the Bible says that your body is a temple of God. Once you're not married, yeah. any form of Did God sexual act. sexual desire in your body? Yes, so that yes. you control it. So that, so, so, they, so that so you it created ends. the desire, so you control it. But also, the, the yearn for corruption and bribery and all this <laughs> is it's the same desire for. To, to, to succeed is what God put inside us. No, no. They, no, the desire to succeed Ste is what Stealing God. and cheating, you know, no. as a way of making money, is totally different no, from... No, it's not different. It's the same way. I mean, I want to succeed. I want to make more money. It's a drive God has put into us. So if you're saying that people have, having consensual love thing is not fornication, then you're telling me Nyantiji collecting the money out of love is not So, so DKB, pay your analogy, you, you admit that you fornicate. Yes, senior fornicator, me are there. Let go. Okay. Once another marry a fornicator. Yes. And, and so if you tell me, if you call a bribe for a good cause, it's still bribery. Mm. Oh, I have to go and pay my kids' school fees. Yes, it's true. We see that you need your kids' school fees. But you, you, you collect a bribe. You rob somebody, you stab somebody to collect their money, to steal their phones. To, to, to convert it to cash, to pay your child's school fees, or your mother is sick. That doesn't mean that you should go and do that act. Yes, yeah, it's, like, it's a genuine concern. So the same way, if I steal with a good heart, it doesn't mean I'm not stealing, I'm stealing. Mm. So if I'm, I'm laying with a woman, and I'm not married to her, it is fornication. No matter stealing how much stealing yeah. is not one of the attributes that God put into us. It is the desire to succeed. That's why no, it makes no, no, it's, it's not necessarily you can succeed the right way. Yeah, that, so it that, can also be the right to marry. No, no, no. Who said marriage is the right way? It is. No. Well, a pep but look, we have we can have a great relationship with, with, with a man and a woman for the rest of their lives. They're not married. What's the difference? No, it's just a certificate. No, that, that, that's disrespect to the woman's father. No, it's not. It's, yeah, it, 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 even when the woman is not complaining. No, my mom well, was cohabitating with my stepfather, mm -hmm. and it got to a point. My grandfather threatened that he would disown her. It doesn't matter whether it goes into a marriage and <coughs> that and that. If it is uh, a you know, worthwhile relationship, then it's worthwhile. If it's a loving relationship, it is. You don't have to be married to love somebody. Each other. And you know, marrying also doesn't make you love somebody. True. Anyway, that, that they agree. But let's get back to the point of who owns the body. And uh, it brings me to the question uh, I, I wanted to ask you. You've talked about the fact, okay, he agrees that he's fornicating. Oh. Are you fornicating yes, as well? Yes, because fornication here is sexual intercourse between people and marriage. So if I'm having... sex with someone... Yeah, and you're not married. I'm fornicating. So you agree that you're a fornicator? Hey, so why would she be looking for the definition? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to define. I want to be sure. She wants to be sure. Yeah. 
you want to be sure if it shows for the creating yeah, of the past tense or present tense. You have to be sure, sure what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Mimi, are we all on the same page? You know, because they are single, they say that okay, yes, they are fornicating. I'll I'll ask them the reason they are doing so. But you know, before we left uh, your segments with Uncle Ben, he had made mention of the fact that you need to, and I want to get you right when I'm quoting that because it, 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 yeah. it actually stimulated something in me that you need to be married. He said you have to make a pragmatic effort to be married before you get married. Is that what you yes. said? No, no, no. no. So what did he say? To know how to, to deal do. with your woman mm -hmm. okay. or to, with women in general. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you marry, that's when you start learning about your own woman. Okay. And it's a learning process. It's not just that you come armed with, First, you he know, said that learn how to be married. The mm -hmm. word he uses is learn how to be married before, before you marry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and, and that is so interesting. So I'm asking, in terms of who owns the body, per what they're saying, it means that before you get married, there's a need for you to, you know, like you say, taste it, try it, test, you know, and all that. Oh. Was, it, was it one of the things that, you know, you had processes or situations that you had to go through before you settled? It's very complicated. You know, for me, I always tell people that when you do that and you get married to the person, then you, you're lucky. You're on the, on the right. But when you do that and you don't get married to the person, then you keep doing that. That is when we say the fornication. So to prevent all that, don't do it before marriage. <laughs> I wish I didn't do it before marriage. I feel like it would have been something really sweet and special and very adventur yourself, right? adventurous. <laughs> and, you know, I, I feel like... That you might have us as well be disappointed. Yes. You, you, you could be disappointed. But let me, let me say, the same process you went through in the relationship is the same process you go through in the relationship. In the relationship, I feel like, like... You'll be dealing with it. You'll be managing. You'll be teaching. You teach yourself in marriage. Oh, people don't have, you know, I just like teach saying, okay, I want to hear you. People don't have the patience to do that. But you have the patience to taste. Yes. It doesn't make sense. So what's... Marriage is even longer. So you have more time to even practice to be perfect. The relationship is not even guaranteed. So why are you practicing something that is not guaranteed? Marriage is guaranteed. So practicing it, you're sure. Say it's a long term. So when you practice, it will get perfect to the end. But for the relationship, you're not guaranteed. Your thing will just be suffering. Because it will be jumping from one place to the other. Uh, it's, not it's not suffering. It's <laughs> It's chilling. <laughs> ah, it is doing what God of, created it to do. It will oh. just be suffering. Hey. Suffering. <laughs> What the thing will just about? begin to be loose. No. So you have to do it in marriage. And marriage is more lengthier. So through marriage, you practice. And you it's even nicer in marriage. You know, you can discuss it. So baby, what happened? And this is you're even free to discuss and maybe maybe maybe, maybe relationship maybe, maybe in maybe. your in your marriage you're free to discuss. I've heard people say that you know especially you can't you can't discuss. They can even discuss. talk to their, their spouse about these things. You should. I, I've heard people say that you know especially when you you were so expectant, you marry the man and, and then you realize. Mm. And then you are the one to teach him. Then teach him how to, you know, bang. Teach That's him how to touch thing. you, That's cuddle thing. you. Teach him how to do what? No. We're still teaching them in our marriage. You can never finish teaching. Uh, it's just like learning. You can never finish learning. Mm. As we sit here, unless we are liars. I don't think you should say teaching. I think you should say you're learning. Yes, yes. You're, we, you're we, experiencing. Yes, we are you still, got, got we are get still learning. We are still learning. The nature of the person. Especially the sexual we can nature do that. of your partner. Not before. You can actually do that because, like I said, marriage is lengthier. You still, as we sit, we're still learning. There are still new things I find out about my husband sexually. But me and my husband have been together for seven years. To get, I mean, marriage and then relationship. Seven okay. good years. But we still don't know each other like that. But we have sex every day. So what are you talking hey, about? Every day. Of course, yes. You should. You should. It's, it's like a it's like a pill. So is it? It's like a pill. She, she's she's getting jealous now. No, but initially, <laughs> no, but maybe initially told us that sometimes your body is not ready for it. No, so how can it be? But every day? it's something you make or, effort. Sex is not just is about jealous? the intercourse. I, I don't I'm know. sorry. No, 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 it's not answer. just about cro 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 no. It has a it's it's a whole institution. So you can have sex without penetrating. Oh yes. Uncle Ben, do you agree to that? Oh, because I've never heard that one. You like can, you can have you sex can without have, penetrating. You can yes. have sex, yeah. Yes. Yes. You can have a sexual yes. with sexual moment with your husband. It, it has to be out. every it's day. Out. You it's have to out. make out. Oral, oral sex. Everything, no. yeah, oral. You subscribe to that? Of course. Don't <laughs> you? 
Ah, you don't do aura. You, you don't, don't do aura. Do I'm the one asking questions. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you don't, don't do aura. Do I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> then like, who answer like, you? How can I, we answer I, somebody who doesn't know? I don't know. So I'm going to check it. Is it here that you learn? Uh, yes, I'm also learning. When you have the show, yes, I'm learning. Before you learn, I'm learning seriously on the show. But you subscribe to oral sex. Why does she subscribe? Why does she do? network and not speak? Uh, uh, My see, question to you, why did you? So why are you not able to Why not say out? yes? No, she's like, like she is, she's embarrassed. She didn't do the oral sex five years ago. Let's have it five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, BKB and yeah. uh, you, uh, AJ Pounds, you are single. So why are you having sex? I'm practicing. Eh, die rough. <laughs> die rough. <laughs> You mm. before you married, you didn't. Wait, wait, wait. No, this one, this one is yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking because of some of the things that Uncle Ben and Mimi have said. No, <laughs> forget what they said. You I'm are having a love. This is what she's a betrayer. Yeah, we are having a loving relationship. Love okay, relationship. so yeah, are you are you having it because you want to have? Lizzy, mm -hmm. I'm using <laughs> Uncle Ben back with formula. Uh -huh. No more fornication. I'm in a loving. <laughs> If, if, if you are in a dedicated way. relationship. You see, uh -huh. dedicated and uh -huh. loving. It's not just that you're going around screwing any no. skirt. That's no. fornication. Mm -hmm. But in, if you're in a dedicated, loving, loving relationship, yes. you uh -huh. can't call that fornication. It's too dirty but for But why are these young ones? My so, advice oh, to oh, you oh, guys uh -huh. is uh -huh. it's not too late. To you stop. can actually stop and start all over again yeah, no, yeah. and continue it when you get yeah, married. Yeah, they, they will go to you the same three months to marry. You can't <laughs> stop. No, you stop three months to marry. Months. I know how you people do it. When you, those of you marry, <coughs> you intentionally do some marry? cool Ramadan, be one man to. <laughs> We know, we know you people. You were all in the same suit. Why are you trying to betray us? No, but I'm asking. Missy, why, why are you trying why, to betray why, us? Why did you do Ramadan it? one man? Oh, I actually did it even a night before. So. And hey. only before marriage. Yeah. You have sex a night before your marriage. Yes. Ah, she's amazing. Okay, amazing. It was a loving, of course, it's a loving, it's a loving, a loving relationship. But you remember when you're rabbits, you just go. No, 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 no. Eh, I'm no, no, talking no, no, no. about a dedicated relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sure, sure, please. Sure. My relationship don't, don't, was dedicated. Don't, don't seven make it years like something. By the end, when you break up, you move to another person. Of course, you love again. <laughs> of course, you learn to love Thank again. You. So you know, you know, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Ben. If you don't take care, people will abuse what you've said. It, because you see what he's just said that you, people you can break abuse up anything. And you Why are you selling me out? Why are you selling me and, out? And let me tell you something uh -huh. before before you go any further. Right. That the research that was done on infidelity found that more women, you know, straight than men. You understand? What research is that? Where, where did they start? This was done in from? Europe. But I don't, okay, I don't get it. maybe it doesn't pertain to more. Yeah, yeah, more she, women cheat in a, in a marriage. I, I can't believe that. In a marriage or. Yeah, or yeah in a marriage. marriage setting, yeah. Marriage. And yeah. Mm, that, 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 do you think it pertains to Ghana as well? Yeah, oh, Ghana is worse. You got statistics for that? Yeah. Uh huh. You want to tell you're my own story? No, tell us because you're just about counting. and Because I was going to ask another question. The ask that, that question. We, we I should ask that question. Because I was going to find out, you know, if you believe in the statistics you have. No, no, this is not, I didn't do this. This is a proper statistical body that did this research. Yeah, and you believe because in the, the, statistics. the, the common belief is that yeah, it's the men who stray. Mm -hmm. And you find that a lot of men <coughs> have never strayed ever. It's just one or two that, you know, fornicate, like fornicating. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see what I mean? And, give, and also they like bragging. Right. But the women, she will hmm. do it, she will hide it. You will never know because if you know, she knows she's in trouble. And right. why, 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 what did the statistics say is the reason these women do that? Bas basic human nature. They want Curiosity. a good sex. Really? Sometimes they, they have a desire. The husband has been traveling for three months, mm. are they? You understand? They are human beings. Hey, look, at the end of the day, you, can you should remember that people yes, are human beings. You, okay, <coughs> maybe just say you can sort yourself. Yeah. How do you, really can you get a vibrator out. or what? You sort yourself out. How do you sort yourself out? That one, dear. Go and research. Sort yourself out. Don't cheat. You can actually Woman, sort you yourself see, out. Uh, this is what I it's not even cheating. Look, let me tell you something. You, you guys say that is not cheating. No, you're let me let me. You're straight. Yeah, it's let me cheating. let me tell you the. Hey, I'm going to have a lot of. Listen, <laughs> listen. Sex is not the basis of love. Sex is sex. Love is you can love somebody and they'll be sleeping with somebody else, but you still love them. Sometimes 
you, you break up with a woman and it, you know, it hurts you because maybe they've cheated on you. It hurts you, pa, but you still want that bloody woman. Yes. Okay, so, so sex is not the basis of love. We, these Christians and these religious, religious people have made it like, you know, sex is some secret. It's not supposed to be. Sex, sex that, is, that's a that is how we mix the genes. That's what God intended. What the hell are you people talking about? <coughs> You're okay. talking as if you are in okay. the Bible or something. <laughs> <laughs> Be real. Okay. So, so me, for, for my end, this is what I know. Mm -hmm. uh, the only species that can separate love and sex are men. Women, if they have sex with you, they love you. It's not true. That is why when a woman cheats, it's a big deal. If a woman doesn't love you, you it is get men's it in ego. Is that, that true? Makes it. Yeah. AJ. Yes. It if she doesn't you love you. With, have you cheated before? No. Mm -hmm. You see, women, they would not. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes you find yourself a guy with all the money and things, and a woman is not giving him a chance because she's not feeling him. Women, it must, it must vibe. So, boss, I get your point. Click. Yes, I get your point. Connection. Men can separate love and sex totally. Easy. He loves his wife but completely. Women, he, he, lo he loves the sex to the wife. There are men like that and there are women else. like that. But there the are men like that. The the Look, no, everybody. No, women like that have practiced for so long, they have disconnected you? their emotions. Yeah. These are the, mostly the. the what we call them the slave queens. from 13. And I'm a professional. I'm a You say what? These are women. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these slay queens we are talking about? These slay queens. Who are the slay queens? Those girls on social media. We are all on social media. No. We are there. Ah, you know slay queen. We say slay queen. Tell us, we don't know them. Slay queens are the girls who put their thing on display on Instagram. Which then thing? you hit them on DM. They put out the body half naked uh, and all those things. Okay, half naked. Uh, and they it. sell the body on there. Those are the real slay queens. No. You put a red carpet in. Look, I'm telling you, it has taken a, a, a total definition. When we say slay queens. Have you been sliding into those DMs? You know. I tell the temperature or something. I just, you know. <laughs> uh, but you see, but the thing, they, they, they do that to uh -huh. open themselves up for clients. So when yeah, the body is lying, the boys business. DM them, and then they say, oh, Jaisa, oh, Jaisa, oh, let's go hang out. Okay, cool. So that those people hang are out. the ones you say can detach themselves from? Yes. From it's, not yes. Only, yes. The it's not only those people. Look, infidelity in marriage, eh, so-called loving marriage, perception, Nali, that this is a loving marriage. And there's still infidelity. It is human nature. I, I get it, but we are not Jesus. So what about the ones who are staying faithful? They are also if, human. If, if yes, woman, but if, if you can stay faithful, it's fine. It's difficult. It's yeah. woman straight. Yeah. So, if Uncle, let you. me ask you a very sensitive uh -huh. question. So, if your wife goes and come back, you would just accept her? I will accept. Her. I love her, not because of that the sex. Is, hey, no, I will accept her. Please don't even ask me. I won't. Don't ask <laughs> me. Maybe I will. Maybe I will accept her. And so many men even give their women to other men and you, to, you, to satisfy them because they no, know they no, can't. No, in Ghana. No, I, here in Africa. No, no, in no, Africa, no. in Ghana here, self, it happens. They give their wives to other yes, men. Yes, And you know of such men. Yes, it is, it is common throughout our society. In fact, they call them oh. Saji. Saji. Yeah. You know, people... Uh, Jigilo. Who, who, no, no, no. They can't They can't perform get it up sexually, to yeah. do the funky oh, thing. Impulse. It's not necessarily input, but even with impotency, there is extents. Right. You understand? Yeah, because sometimes so people can only do it once a year. Yeah. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look at me? Like that? <laughs> 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 this girl, she liked the thing. I know you. The way she looks at you. I see. 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 You cannot impose um, <laughs> celibacy on your partner just because you don't have that physical Absolutely. desire. Yes. Please, it is inhumane. It is, it is crazy. Me, me from Who won't pardon you to say your wife or your partner has so, to... You see why you need to, you, so you need to you practice to, before marriage. Uh, okay, let's, let's hear AJ because... You, you see why you need to practice before marriage. Because if you know all these things, say, say sorry, I just have fear. You know, that, okay, then I'm not ready for this thing. I won't go into it. My rage is something. But things happen. But Anything they be a change, yo. Yeah, it an accident change, would yeah. happen. Be you know. Okay, like you said, it's Almost that, yeah. So also, happened. because of because it's. Don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't cancel him. No, how long, how long are you sort yourself no, out? Any woman who cheats, the man plays 50% role. Because women, 
it's very keepers. difficult for us yes to do women that. are keepers very, men very are hunters difficult. but um yeah. ben, uh, where do we draw the line you know in you know wanting her to enhance <coughs> the body enhance her look you know the routine sex routine in the room you know keeping the styles you know how do we draw hmm. the balance when she's ready when she's not ready how do you psych her up how do you also psych yourself up i think you've got to know your partner and I think that you have to have that drive to keep your relationship dynamic and, you know, fresh. You know, if, if you start doing a missionary every day, every night, every day, every night, you will get bored because it, you think that it's just a duty. But sex is okay. never a duty. Sex is a thrill and a pleasure. So when you come, you know that this is, this is what God so meant. Is. Eh? You need to take serious. Uh -huh. It's a business you need to take serious. Yes. I yes. see. Yeah. It, yeah. You need to, it's, it's a whole institution on its own. It's a bigger than a university. You need to, like, uh, courses. Once they're in the university, we have Chem 101 and Chem 102. Yeah. So sex has to be arranged in that manner. Uh, different types. So it's like every day you're going for a lecture. So every day you have different <laughs> lecture, different so class. <laughs> you different. take a notebook and pen. Yes. <laughs> then, uh, Are you doing chemistry? Yes, I'm a biochemist. She's a biochemist. Oh, I, like, yeah. I like your zoonotics <laughs> and your pyruvate. My submission about owning the body and then the diversity to keep everything is you, for me, for me, I practice open-mindedly in my relationship. You have to be open-minded in such a way that you are ready to... When you're open-minded, you can do the, the diverse things that he's talking about. You're not uptight, so you're always ready to explore different Ultimate, things. Yes. So owning the body really, it's relative to whoever is owning whose body. Uncle, our Uncle Ben's own, it's, a, it's an addition. You need to understand your partner's body. And all, how do you even understand your partner's body? By practicing, by doing different things. Going to buy ice cream, tickling her if she will move like me. If you tickle me 1,000 years, I it won't do anything to me. So you, my, my husband will not tickle me. And I'm not concentrated on that. I'm not concentrated So you know, you need to know your, your, all these things makes everything great. So owning the body, it's a compromise. We both own each other's body in marriage but for these two they don't own anybody's body and nobody owns their body yeah. that's why they are fornicating they can jump for because their body can be shared you know mm. so they are sharing it she's an old student <laughs> <laughs> and then, i think men love variety so as a woman you should try your best and look good yes. keep it fit you know look sexy for him tight. almost every time in time why is it always about him what about you what is he doing for you we are talking from a woman from a woman ah, she's not a See? feminist though ah, ah, she's talking so as a typical woman not as a typical feminist. Ghanaian woman just try your best mm. you're, you're sexy kakra you know and spice it up try your best you know not always in missionary the bible <coughs> thing the kitchen garden the pool Ice cream joints, the watches. They should, they should, they should, they should make, they have yeah, 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 yeah. you know. She should make love at the ice cream yeah, joints. Yeah. Some corner yeah. be like, someone yeah. is watching you yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. And too, too, we are busy. In account. In account. Then you talk about it. What I say? And I think, say, you are good to go. For me, what I'm, all I'm saying is the physicality. Guys, try and get to the gym. Keep the body intact. The woman should also yeah, keep jealous, the body right? intact. Yes, look. If you're watching, um, you and your woman, you don't hit the gym, you don't work out. You, the guy, you try working out and see how she'll panic. And I understand the Ghanaian women, they intentionally oh. feed the men at night so that they'll develop pot belly so that no girl will like <coughs> and then you'll just fall dead at your feet. <laughs> guy, don't fall for that. When you come eat only salad, let hunger kill you. Morning will come by all means. Then you can eat your normal food. Physicality is important. So we had Uncle Ben Bracco on set, he's a veteran musician. Pam, pam, pam. Pam pam pam. That's, I, I, can, I, know I can do the beat, but the voice needs to I sing know, the song. And any hop. So that's one of my favorite songs from him. And that uh, we had Ghana's Most Beautiful yeah. Contest and 2011. AJ Pound, she's an actress as well, joining us. Uh, the head of comedians, DKB, uh, also. He was, is here. He's still here. And uh, Mimi and Danny Michaels, director for Golden Movie Awards, they put up a splendid show at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel on June 2. My name is Miss G. Thanks to the entire production team. I won't be able to mention names today. My makeup was done by Ellie's Makeover. Her number is on the screen. Reach out to her. And we'll be back next week on the G-Spot with another fantastic topic with your favorite celeb. Have a good evening. <laughs>